Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add custom Minecraft maps to 1.16. This video is 1.15 here, but I can't put the video for 1.16 here because I'm recording it right now. So anyway, we're going to be showing you every single step of getting 1.16 custom Minecraft maps installed. First and most though, we do have a of our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can actually upload any of these custom maps here to that server at Apex very, very simply and very, very easily and play them with your friends. So awesome stuff there. We love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex in the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get the custom maps or Minecraft maps, basically the same thing, installed here. So the first thing you need to do is download one. Now if you've already got one, awesome. You can kind of skip ahead, press the arrow button a few times and skip ahead, but otherwise we do need to download some maps. And if you haven't downloaded some maps yet, you can check out the description down below. And this is 15 custom maps that work for Minecraft 1.16. Now some of them are for the snapshots of Minecraft 1.16, but nevertheless, they still work. So anyway, when you're here, go here and scroll down until you find the Minecraft map that you want. For example, we're just going to do Bastion's Parkour here. It's a really cool nether-based parkour. really incorporates the 1.16 blocks, which is what I always like to do. Then click on that download button. It takes you here where you want to click on the download map. Now, it does say it requires a snapshot, but that's okay. We're going to install it in Minecraft 1.16 anyway, and it will work. Let's go ahead and click on that download Minecraft map button, and it will download in the bottom left. Sometimes it might take you off to Mediafire or a separate download service. If that's the case, no worries. Just download it from there. Now, we minimize our browser here on the desktop I have the Bastion's parkour map if this isn't on your desktop go ahead and click on the little windows icons in the top left of me bottom left of your screen click on that and then click on download or type in downloads then this downloads file folder in windows and you will find your map in here now before we install the map we need to make sure we've got the map set up correctly to do that go ahead and double click on the zip file you downloaded and then you should see something like this most likely you're gonna have another folder of some sorts in here if you don't then go ahead and just extract this folder. So right click, extract all, unless you have a folder in here. If you have a folder like this, click on that folder. And then continue to click until you see this. Dim, Dim1, all of that stuff. It might not be all of this, but you should at least have like Dim or Dim-1. One. one of those two will be there. Once you start seeing these files, go ahead and click the back arrow in the top left and then drag this to your desktop. Okay, now again, if in here you saw all of that as soon as you open this file, what you would do, right, if you open it like this, you would just simply right click and extract all, right? So right click, extract all, and then click extract. However, eventually, either way, you will end up with a folder on your desktop, right, like so, right? When you double click on the folder on your desktop, it should immediately open up and you should see DIM1 and DIM-1, or at least one of the DIMs there. And if that's the case, you're good to go. If you don't immediately see these, keep clicking until you do, and then pull the folder out. That, again, shows you DIM1 or DIM-1. Now, finally, we can install the map. Not that it was a hard process, but that's kind of the prepping. We've gotten the map ready to be added to Minecraft, so let's go ahead and add it. To do this, we again want to go on the little windows icon, the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, that little windows icon, the top or bottom left, and then go ahead and type in, this time, run, R-U-N. You'll then have this run app here. Click on that, and then in this little text box within the run app, you just want to type percent sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent sign, percent, app data percent, and hit OK. This thing going to open up your roaming folder here where you will find a .minecraft folder. And then in your .minecraft folder, you will find a saves folder. So again, we're in the roaming here. Go to .minecraft and then go to saves. And then all you need to do to install your custom Minecraft map is drag and drop it from your desktop into your saves folder. It's that simple. Now we just need to open up Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Open up Minecraft 1.16 here and we're going to be good to go. Now. A lot of times, 1.15.2 maps will work in Minecraft 1.16. So if you find a 1.15.2 map that, you know, for example, even there's one on our website. If we come back over here, this map right here is working in 1.16, right? So this map's 1.15.2. Just install it, and then it's going to prompt you to upgrade it. Go ahead and upgrade it without any issues. It's actually going to do that on this map because it's for a snapshot, but I'm going to show you everything you need to do. So if we click on single player here, here is our custom map. It's Bastion's Parkour. If we double click on this, it's going to say, oh no, do you really want to load this world? It's meant for this snapshot. We know it's going to be safe. We know what we're doing. We can click, I know what I'm doing, and it will start up. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, click create backup. That way you won't lose any data, but we know what we're doing, so we're just going to launch right on into it. So now at this point, the map is going to load up. It's going to be in Minecraft 1.16, and we're going to be good to go. So as you can see here, hi guys, you are, here, you are in the Bastion's Parkour map. This map has been created by the data packer, Ultra Gast. 
Thanks also to Ultragast, to yada yada yada. Have a good day, or have a good game. Bye bye. I come back to Dynamax. So, as you can see, really cool sort of parkour setup here. I suck at parkour. There's no denying that. Everyone at this point pretty much knows that I am horrible at parkour. However, it's still a very, very fun to do, and uh, it's a great way to teach you all how to add custom maps to Minecraft, which we have now done. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And you know what? Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Absolutely incredible. We have custom survival, custom skyblock. Medieval survival has an incredible player-based economy with 30 custom quests. 1.16 is coming very, very soon. Then we do have aquatic survival with a size shop-based economy. Custom skyblock. Faction Season 2 comes out in just a few weeks. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Again, if you want to upgrade a world, you just double-click on it and then just right on into it. And uh, yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.